Happy Valentine's Day. It's the 14th of February. I can't believe it. Two weeks into the month of February already. So, what delight do I have for you today? It's from Damien Rice. Sometimes you have to step away from what you love in order to learn how to love it again. So I think today's quite a good day for that particular statement. Um, I'm actually single, so it doesn't make too much of an odds um, for me currently, but I can apply this in, in many different relationships that I have. Sometimes you have to step away from what you love in order to learn how to love it again. Now, I think, like I say, today's a good day to do that because if you are in a relationship and you are um, celebrating Valentine's Day, some people don't, I know, but some obviously do. Um, step back for a moment. Yes, you're in love with them. Yes, you love them dearly. But maybe take a bit of time today on your own just to take a step back. Remember back to the very first moment you met them. Remember those feelings that you had when you saw them for the first time. Um, the first embrace, the first hug the first laugh, the first meal shared. You know, just remember those first experiences that you had. If you have children, the first child and how you both were so empowered with love for unconditionally for, for your children that had been born. That first moment that you found out that your partner was, was pregnant or you were pregnant or... Um, whoever whether you know uh, the adoption papers you know the first time you know you talked about adopting or fostering or or any of those those first moments they're key because love is something you have to work at every day and yes we have valentine's day today to be able to celebrate that love um but really it should be something that should be expressed every day um, in your relationships and by remembering those first moments, those first instances, um, it helps you reconnect with what actually got you together in the first place. Now, for singletons like myself, and like I say, you can apply this to, to different friendships, relationships or whatever, I can vividly remember the first moments that I saw my children for the first time ever. The moments they were born and I got my first glimpse, my first sight of each one and how I felt at that time. And so if you have kids and they're annoying the hell out of you, despite the fact that you love them dearly, unconditionally, you sometimes feel that, you know, oh, they're a pain in the bum today or whatever. Just remember those moments of pure, unadulterated love that you had for them. Those first moments they walked, spoke, um, those sort of things. And it'll help you just to reconnect with just why they're really there. So no matter how bad or how agitating or annoying they are, remember those moments because they're really powerful. And it's the same with friendships. You know, remember those good times. Um, you know, friends, you know, you're going to fall in and out with friends. It, you know, no one stays friends um, and, and happy forever. There's always going to be something, whether they share it with you or not, there's always going to be something that will knock them or will knock you about them. But it's how we decide that's going to affect us that makes the difference. And I think this passage, sometimes you have to step away from what you love in order to learn how to love it again, stands for, for so many different things. And I think that's the thing. And take jobs, careers, um, passions, hobbies, interests, um, we all can be some days, oh, yeah, really, do I have to? Well, remember why you got involved in the first place. That will help drive you forward. That will help motivate you to move you forward. And it's that that you need to, to fall back in love with in order to be able to move forward that day. So for those that do have partners that are celebrating Valentine's Day, I know some singletons out there are also celebrating Valentine's Day because they're celebrating they don't have to do anything. Um, so... Happy Valentine's Day to you all. Make today count. If you are celebrating with a loved one, enjoy it, make the most of it, and be rich with your love and give it freely. 
because it's better to give than to hold on to it and not share. Make today count.